Our final story is the world premiere on Atlanta's biggest theatrical stage. A musical, an opera, if you will, about Atlanta's most famous native son, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Tomorrow night, the curtain will rise for the very first time ever on I Dream at the Alliance Theater in Midtown. The production has a cast of 37, along with a small orchestra, and is directed by actress Jasmine Guy. Interestingly, the composer and librettist is from London, England, and Douglas Tappan is here with us now to talk more about it. First of all, congratulations on the upcoming opening on this incredible project. Thank you very much, Brenda. Yeah, I understand that you, you moved to Atlanta just four years ago and just then began to understand the true power of Dr. King. And what made you decide to, to write a musical about him? Um, musicals for me are a great way to tell stories. Um, someone said music is the language of emotion. Mm -hmm. and, and if you add emotion to a, a very uh, significant story, um, I, I think it helps us maybe to tell it in a way that it's never been told before. Absolutely, that is for sure. I know you are a musician as well, so that kind of speaks your language. How, how much time did you spend with the King? family for this project? Um, not a whole lot of time and most of that's been quite recent. Um, this was something that I set out on be before I really had direct contact with them um, and their feedback's been recent but, but there have been amendments on the basis of, of their input. Um, which has enhanced the piece a whole lot. Wow, I I'm sure. Will, will they be at the premiere tomorrow uh, night? Yes, they will. Oh. Um, Dr. King's sister, uh, Bernice King, um, as I understand, and maybe some others also. Fantastic. Tonight is the final preview uh, performance before the opening night tomorrow night. Right. So uh, what do you hope the audience will walk away with after seeing it? I, I hope they're moved. Um, I, I hope that this, this uh, in some way moves them to, to be better people. That, that may sound a, a crazy thing to say, but I think the <laughs> story of Dr. King, the civil rights movement, Atlanta, and all those other things um, are, are so significant historically um, for Atlanta, for the world, um, that I've tried to compact it all into two hours, 10 minutes, uh, and to move them um, uh, to, to, to be inspired, um, to be different, to be better in some way. Yeah. Anything surprising about Dr. King in this production? Um, uh, some things. Uh, I don't want to give all of that yeah. away. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I won't steal your thunder. All right. Finally, the, the production runs through the end of July. Uh, yes. Then what? I mean, is Broadway really a possibility here? Um, I'd like to think it's a possibility, um, but it's not the absolute necessity of the next step. Broadway has all kinds of good things about it. You can you can stay resident in the theater for a long time, but the, the negative about Broadway is that everyone has to come to you. I, I'd love this show to, to leave Atlanta and go from here all over the world. Um, and Broadway, maybe a stop, um, maybe not. Yeah, well, you know what, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it will not only go to Broadway, but just every major theatrical stage around the world. Uh, it, that would really be a, a, a feather in your cap, and we would be so proud here in Atlanta. Thank sure. you, Brenda. Thank That's you, it. Atlanta. Yeah, uh, congratulations, and uh, break a leg. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, wish you all the best. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, it truly is exciting. A world premiere right here in Atlanta that could open the eyes of people around the world on Atlanta's most important legacy. It hasn't even opened yet, and I'm already proud, especially hearing the rumblings that I Dream is Broadway-bound indeed. Try not to miss it, really, and be among the first on this planet to experience the inspiration of a global icon poured out in memory and in music right at our own front door. I Dream runs through the end of July. Tickets are still available. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us. The news continues always on 11alive.com. Go there anytime for news updates. We hope to see you back here tonight at 11. Until then, thanks for watching.